Hey there, Philip from Future Commerce here coming back to you with another set of website teardowns. We've done these sort of reaction videos to launches in the past. I'm going to talk about some brands that have existed for a little while today and get into what some of the psychology is, why they make the decisions that they make and the way that they put products together on their website. Uh, I'm talking about direct to consumer candles today and you know by nature candles and in, in selling candles really is something that's probably very difficult to do online. Uh, you have to evoke some sort of an emotion or experience in uh, a way that happens visually uh, or through copy. Then, and usually you can communicate a lot through the sense of smell. Obviously, the sense of smell is very powerful uh, sense. It can trigger emotions and nostalgia. Uh, it can trigger memory. Uh, but you don't get to smell anything, at least not yet, through the internet. So uh, you have a very uh, tough challenge ahead of you if you're trying to sell candles online. And so I really appreciate what these three brands that we're gonna cover today, uh, the challenge that they have and how they're all overcoming it in a little bit of a different way. Uh, Otherland is one of them. I really love this brand. Uh, they have a really beautiful aesthetic, great photography, uh, like some of my other favorite brands. They're doing that full bleed, you know, edge to edge, sort of immersive uh, photography right up, uh, on the uh, uh, homepage. Uh, their core collection includes a few, uh, you know, uh, I would say, uh, you know, mainstay scents. If, you, if you're a frequenter of candles, uh, you'll find that uh, having, you know, very flowery fragrant, fragrance will appeal to some people. So you'll see peony and rosebud, um, uh, you know, fig. Uh, but one that sort of caught my eye was interesting is that the rattan uh, prioritizes sandalwood. And uh, in some conversation with them online on Twitter, it seems that they're trying to position this as a, you know, $39 alternative to the you know, $110 Santal 26 from Le Labo. Um, and uh, so, yeah, the core collection right off uh, on the homepage is right below the uh, the new product feature. And you can build a three-pack. We'll get into that in a second. The second is a trust builder that is talking about uh, there being clean candles. So uh, they've reduced the toxins that go into candle making. Uh, we're all, you know, big uh, fans of uh, paraben-free um uh, and sulfate free candles these days, a little bit healthier way to uh, burn something. Uh, and their scent sampler is, they're executing just brilliantly here, uh, a real easy way of being able to close the gap with, well, you don't know what it smells like, we'll, we'll give you a way for you to find uh, a scent that works for you so you don't have to buy a candle that you won't like. Um, so they have gorgeous photography and amazing copy. Uh, some trust builders here that are social proof and down here again, you know, a founder story uh, and, you know, a little bit of a, uh, you know, you don't want to buy for you, buy for someone else. Uh, so I really, really love what they're doing um, in like sort of a faux uh, uh, user generated content section here. This is just, you know, it's a lot of pictures of uh, lifestyle and, and founder. Uh, so let's look at what an actual product detail page looks like by going through a category. Um, let's look at the, uh, I just love all of their, their imagery. Uh, gosh, this page must be uh, just really fun to design if you're a designer. Let's go to that uh, rattan. I think the rattan uh, candle is something that I probably would uh, buy myself. So, uh, you know, 55 hour burn time. Uh, they're sort of, you know, prioritizing the, the sprints for a long time. You're going to have it for a long time. It's an eight ounce candle and the soy and uh, coconut and soy wax blend, you know, they are, they're trying to uh, tell you that this is a, a clean candle, uh, master perfumers. This is, you know, speaking to people that might be buying premium candles and how this can be an alternative, great use of, uh, photography, videography, um, you know, this, this, uh, these, uh, paper cut shapes that is prevalent throughout all of their brand and packaging uh, shows up here again on the uh, product detail page. And something I hadn't noticed before is this, uh, this uh, uh, review section. Uh, I haven't seen that in the past. Uh, really like this, uh, this review section. This might be Yapo. I'm, is it Yapo? I wish I knew what Yapo looked like. Uh, uh, judge me. It's judge me. Uh, I wish I knew what the default uh, styling of Yapo looked like, but I'm just going to uh, 
uh, not pose and tell you I don't. Really love other land. If I add one to the cart, uh, we're going to get the, <laughs> the drawer, uh, which is the common UI for the shopping cart nowadays, and you're going to get your typical Shopify checkout. So I uh, really like this. One more thing to check out on, no pun intended, trust building, free shipping, free returns. It's like, no matter what you do, we're going to find a way to make you happy. You can buy a candle online. Don't freak out about it. Uh, but gifting, I think, is really, really interesting. I wrote a, a blog for something digital about gift giving season and how, uh, you know, the uh, uh, gift giving season gets kicked off with Valentine's Day, but there's other gift giving holidays. There's Mother's Day and Father's Day. And uh, what Otherland does for its gift giving uh, set is it allows you to choose a number of signature scents. Um, uh, and in the threesome, so you're going to get a bit of a savings, you know, a 20 ish, $21 savings by purchasing three. And then they have a kit builder. And let's say that I want uh, rattan and daybed and then another rattan. I can totally do that. Uh, I can actually have a matchbox that has, uh, a message on it. Like you set my heart on fire or, um, be my bridesmaid. I mean, how, how brilliant is this? Uh, so the standard is just the other land brand, which is just beautiful. And then you can actually, you know, say, hi, hi, uh, you light my fire, Philip. Let's put my wife's name in there. <laughs> uh, and it looks like you're typing right on the card. Uh, beautiful. And as you see, it just comes in as uh, attributes on the item that then, you know, sail through into the order. So very cool. Uh, I'm a big fan. Other land is really awesome. Let's talk about another brand who I think are doing really interesting things. Uh, Homesick. So Homesick, you know, argu arguably probably orders of magnitude larger than other land. Um, although, you know, Otherland's brand is gorgeous and their packaging and unboxing experience is amazing. Homesick uh, has an incredible depth of category and beautiful copywriting. So uh, Homesick, I believe last year was the number one candle brand on Amazon. You can check me on that. Uh, one thing that they've done really well is creating really interesting uh, uh, like conquesting or, or competitive conquesting campaigns uh, for folks looking for scent or fragrance or candle shopping uh, and targeting to them based on their state uh, or their hometown, which is really interesting way to do social. So what they've done is they've created candles from states of, uh, of the United States. So if I were to go to the Florida candle, which I bought, uh, I have it over here on my shelf, uh, the... <laughs> The description, I'm like, what does Florida sound, smell like? I have, I have no idea what Florida smells like. Uh, I see Miami here. Uh, I see Beach Cottage. But, you know, I grew up in Florida. Uh, I, I couldn't tell you what a Florida smell smells like. Uh, well, wake up and smell the oranges. This candle opens with Florida's finest citrus and subtle undertone of bergamot. I'm like, whoa. Oranges, citrus, totally. You'll pick up a main theme of woody mangrove trees and Spanish moss with a beautiful finish of vanilla and amber musk. And I was like, oh my gosh, Spanish moss took me right back to my childhood. I didn't need to smell the candle. <laughs> I knew what it smelled like based on the copy alone. Copywriting is brilliant. Uh, they do a better job than other candle brands in telling you what it smells like by having, you know, s uh, uh, smelling notes. A uh, lot of work has gone into this. Uh, so you get a bigger candle uh, for a little bit cheaper of a price than other land. Uh, if you buy this on Amazon, you're going to save, I think, even just a little bit more, but the, 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 the unboxing experience isn't great. Uh, and then they have, uh, you know, again, it's a, a natural soy wax blend. Um, so you're, you know, if you're worried about what kind of, uh, you know, what kind of a uh, uh, whether it's a clean candle or not, that's, you know, building a little trust there. Uh, here's a Yotpo review, 107 reviews, 4.9. Um, I would say that the candle smells nice. It's not an overwhelming smell and not an overwhelming fragrance. Uh, it could be a little bit more potent, but for a $30 candle, you know, 
it's not uh, I, I I really can't complain. Uh, they have a very large category, so they have a lot of fragrances, uh, but they also have uh, fragrance oils and reed diffusers. So it's more than just uh, you know state based or, or nostalgia based uh, candles. Uh, so they they have others uh, that we'll get into. Uh, you can look into it for yourself. Of course, they have memories like Grandma's Kitchen, uh, and you know they. Oh, what, what was some of the other memories here? Friday Night Football. <laughs> I wonder what that smells like. Let's read the copy uh, because they've just brilliantly executed on the copy. Uh, crisp air and cedar wood bleachers. Wow, breathing in the smell of rich leather mixed with fresh grass, concession popcorn, and of course, victory. Oh man. You know, if this company has done nothing more, they certainly didn't, you know, spend the, they don't have the design budget. And I, from my experience, not the packaging budget of Otherland, uh, they spent all of their money on copywriting and it shows, and I am a huge fan. Uh, lastly, they did a really interesting collab with, um, I want to say Dunkin' Donuts recently. Uh, so, you know, collaborations and, uh, here's a coffee, uh, no, that's their daily collection in the coffee. I don't see their collab with Dunkin' Donuts on here on their website, uh, but I do know that that might be a means for them to, again, continue to expand product assortment and category. Very, very uh, interesting company. Uh, you know, I don't see anything you know, really in the way of gifting. Uh, and I see really just a bunch of payment options that allow you to check out very quickly. Um, so I don't see, you know, if you're giving a gift and you're going to give a candle, it's, you know, this is a candle for you. Uh, other land might be a candle for someone else, but let's talk about a candle that is literally only for you. Um, or for someone that might share your birthday, I'm really fascinated by this, and we talk about Carly a lot on Future Commerce, and Carly being a uh, psychographic, not really generational, but more uh, uh, psychographic of a consumer who probably doesn't have a ton of disposable income. Uh, she's a little bit younger, probably, because of the fact that she doesn't have a ton of disposable income, but uh, has cares very deeply about uh, buying products from companies that share her ideals. That's not just a millennial or Gen Z, but it's it's a consumer. And what I find interesting about birthday candles is it, it sort of triggers that uh, vision of what Carly might be or uh, or what she cares about in my mind. In that, uh, I think that Carly is probably more in touch with. Uh, the spiritual side of things. And there might be a type of a consumer like Carly who uh, thinks a lot about numerology or astrology. And this cus this customer, uh, this consumer is the customer that birthday candles is looking for. So as you can see here, when you go to shop, it's going to ask you what your birth date is. My birth date is August 26th. And the August 26th candle product detail page is really, really expertly crafted. You have sort of an Instagram style image here that has very like, you know, horoscope, uh, you know, evokes the, the feelings of what it might be to read your horoscope. Um, the children of August 26th give freely of themselves. I like to think I do that. Uh, if I were to zoom in and I were to see, you know, they have a lot of copy on the front and the back. They give uh, scent notes. They show you the box. The box is beautiful. And uh, what's really interesting about this is, you know, this image is literally the candle that I would get. So it's the August 26th candle. Uh, there's, you know, the planet, the sign, <laughs> the number, uh, and the sense of it. And uh, this is also a coconut and soy wax blend, uh, just like the other land candle. Uh, the candle goes for about $38. It's 13 and a half ounces uh, and r burns for up to 80 hours. Really interesting. Um, and I also see the master perfumer line is here as well. So I think that, uh, that's really interesting. Love this product detail page and the way that they build uh, copy around, uh, you know, candles being inspired by the stars, uh, you know, just, just really, really brilliant. Also, again, big thing with, uh, it turns out with selling candles online, you need a little bit of social proof. Uh, so 25 people bought this birthday candle and thought it was great. 
<laughs> that's that's awesome. Uh, the concept is really brilliant. If I were to look at, let's see, by sign, uh, you can just find a sign-based candle um, uh, in the category, and then you can just click through to your birth date. Uh, but every single candle is really about the birth date. Uh, if I were to add this product to the cart, uh, it shows me that I thought this was really interesting in the drawer. Add one more for free shipping. Uh, so maybe I can get a second for myself. I've earned free shipping and I can continue shopping or I can go to checkout. Uh, in my cart, let's check out. I believe it's a Shopify site like every other website. Uh, hey, look. There we go. So uh, that's really all it is. I, I find it interesting that they've actually merchandised it as a product in the category. You know, the low effort thing would have been to make a generic candle and then you populate the attributes on the, the cart item. They've not done that. They have gone to the trouble of creating merchandising and, and writing copy uh, and creating labeling for every single candle. Uh, very interesting brand. I've not smelled these. I'm interested to hear uh, what people are, uh, ha what people think who have smelled them. Uh, interesting point of note, you know, they are doing real user generated content uh, in that these all are actual Instagram, uh, you know, purchases that uh, are Instagram or images from purchasers, I should say, I shouldn't say this is an Instagram, I don't actually know that. Um, but these these look to be verified purchases, and you know it's a uh, it's a little bit different to what we saw from you know, the other two candle brands, and that's it. That's how to buy candles online. I want to hear more about what you think about trying to sell experiential purchases uh, <laughs> online, and what kind of trust builders you have to bake in, uh, whether it's through copy, free shipping, free returns, you know, having sampling, uh, or or you know maybe just having like a really really well-crafted experience or something that's totally different. I want to hear from you. Let me know what you think. You can drop me a line uh, at hello at futurecommerce.fm, or you can leave a comment below here on YouTube. Remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you know whenever these teardowns happen again. Thanks for watching.